Join us as we take a break from working on the cars for another pedal box road trip. This is part two of our trip to Formosa Drag Strip from late last year. Hopefully you enjoyed part one, and there's a card at the top if you haven't seen it already. You should definitely check that out. Subscribe to the channel and follow us on all the usual social channels if you haven't already. Standing in the queue we found this great looking 55 Bel Air Gasser, Purple Haze. Sadly, the haze was a bit more cool and coloured, dribbling out ahead of the wheels. Fortunately, just a loose cap and a couple of cans of Monster to top it up, and it rejoined the queue. And queuing not too far behind it, this Charger SRT, decked out in a fairly spectacular paisley paint job in pink and blue, sitting on a big set of Mickey Thompsons. Further back still, probably one of the most hyped cars in the US at the moment, a Mark IV Supra. Some of these, albeit them unmodified, have been selling at auction for over $200,000, which seems absurd, but I guess we'll see if that comment is going to age like milk or not in time. This one, unsurprisingly, as we're at the track, has a giant precision turbo hanging off the block, with just a touch of nitrous. And it's alongside the not so stock looking Hurricane from part one, which you can now see why exactly it's not so stock. Hanging off the back of the V10 and replacing everything below the lights are a pair of mirror image turbos and another just enough exhaust system. Up the Supra. Now, lining up against this Mustang, it feels like a bit of a foregone conclusion that the Supra is going to absolutely dominate. Oh dear. Suffice to say the driver is extremely lucky not to clip the wall on the right lane, but the engine probably doesn't feel quite so lucky. So the Mustang won, and with a pretty good 9.95 second run, but it wasn't the only Mustang that was there. There was also a red Mustang GT with a 5 litre V8, and this row of three black Mustangs, one of which was a Shelby, Parked just off to the left of the row of three Mustangs was another row of three Mustangs, although all of these were Shelbys. And back over in the queue, a different red Mustang GT next to another Mustang from Roush. But it wasn't all just Mustangs, there was also this thousand horsepower Hellcat Challenger, and a Demon Challenger, in red, obviously. Plus this Supercharged Challenger, and a Scat Pack Challenger, and a Red Eye Hellcat Challenger, and a Challenger Hellcat with a parachute, a different green Hellcat Challenger, and another Hellcat Scat Pack Challenger, and two more Demon Hellcats with, yes, you guessed it, a Mustang. Among the seemingly endless parade of late model muscle cars, there was this Fox Body Mustang, different to the one that popped in part one, sporting its own giant grill mounted turbo.
Not that giant turbos were particularly uncommon. This Borg Warner sat proudly with its vertical hater pipe under the hood of a 2005-ish GMC 1500 pickup, once again by the Twin Turbo Hurricane. The other side of the Pacific was also represented by a few cars. This Evo 7, or possibly an 8 or even 9 for that matter, sat alongside this very serious looking 4th gen Civic, one of only a handful of front wheel drive cars sporting massive slicks. And in catching his burnout, I managed to miss his run, so I hope that will suffice. One I did fortunately manage to get on their run was this really good, clean looking 1968 Dodge Dart, packing Mickey Thompson's a parachute and what would apparently be a fairly important wheelie bar. With that, we leave Formoso as the sun drops down. Check out shop.pedalbox.show for our selection of merch and patreon.com forward slash pedalboxshow to support our build more directly from as little as a dollar a month. Subscribe, hit the bell, and follow us on all of the usual social media channels at Pedalbox Show, and you can also join the channel as a member on YouTube. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.